you know major issues pop up there with my sound card and everything but i seem to have fixed them now i don't at least it seems to be working for the stream so yeah hope for the best i guess and let's just carry on <laughs> right i should be able to just pick up i did save before i closed the stream down so we should be able to just pick back up where we were hey there's battle granddad God, what a mess. Shouldn't be happening. Tell you why it is happening, because last night I was screwing around trying to get the settings sorted out for my guitar going through, and... Oh, all right. Okay, let's move on. Everybody move up. We've got a couple of options to go for doors wise I'll wait till everybody's in the room before I open it we'll try that left one first I think but it might just be a storage room that said I'm not too fussed if it isn't we can just uh, jump straight into this assassin fight <laughs> I should have had him reload actually oh well too late now Oh yeah, I forgot he had that perk. Okay. Okay, let's check out this room. It looks empty. But is it? That's a rather ominous door there, that might be it. Yeah, based just on the floor there. Um, I will sense any disturbance. Covering ground. Again, we've lost a couple of frames here and there. I think I, I need a better computer. Well, no, my computer's fine. I need better internet connection so we can have a the encoder running a little bit better so we don't drop any frames. Because my CPU usage is less than 1% right now. So it's not my computer. Got it. Not even slightly my computer. On the move. Affirmative, je couvre la zone. the elders to show patience with your race yet here you now stand my brothers okay i knew there was going to be more <laughs> if i let them move with us you're not in cover get in cover going to happen. Oh well, it's going to happen eventually. Overwatch is going to be the best option there. If we can take the shield bearer down. Yeah, there we go. That's going to make things easier. We've still got an Andromedon there. That is uh, going to be an issue. But, um... 33%. Need to spread out a little bit. Get back further into the room. 26%, it's not great. I was at least hoping to take a hole out on the wall. Are they bunched close together? They are. Can I get all three in this void rift? No, it's two. Two or nothing. <laughs> Oh, 
Now's the time to use it. Oh, I can't believe you missed that shot. <laughs> hey, he's going for battleground now. We can't have that. Well, both these guys. I knew they're bunched up a bit too much. <laughs> and he missed. Now the cover's gone. That's not great. Oh, two damages. Okay, that's good, but if I can take as little damage as possible before the fight with the uh, Chosen, that's the best. Hey, Dan. How you doing? Thanks for dropping by. Things seem to be running a little bit smoother now. We had some major audio issues uh, just now. Um, I'm running again. Things seem to be a little bit better. It was, uh, God, that was. It wasn't great for a minute there, let's just say. <laughs> Microphone wasn't picking up. Oh, yeah, but we're here. We're fighting the, um. Well, we're trying to break into the, uh, the Chosen's chamber here to, uh. Just wreck shop. And, um. But we're trying to do it without losing people first. <laughs> just. Hopefully, going to be something we we can do. Um, oh, that's a good hit. Ten. If we can take it out with this. That's going to actually make things a lot better. There we go. Right. Now we've just got the one dude to deal with. I like this move, Fuse. I haven't used it yet, but not on this playthrough anyway. But set, her, set his grenade off. <laughs> loot destroyed, but hey, you know, we're not here for the loot today. Is that the door? Can I get in that door? Yeah, not in this mission. We're um, yeah, we're we're focused here. This isn't a this is an assassination team. We're gonna take out the uh, take out the chosen. I'm not here to take small um, gun parts off of dudes. <laughs> There's another chamber there. I don't want to go in there. It doesn't look nice, does it? This is the thing, everybody's just too far away from what I think might be the door panel, but like, is that even a door? Is that... Do I have to go through here? I bet it's going to be something like that, where it's like a... I do have to make my way through several rooms just to get there, but... Really not in cover there, but that's fine. I don't think that's a door. It's not a door, is it? Oh well. <laughs> a waste of a turn. Oh well, we're not on a timer. Other than, you know, I have to, I have to go at 5 o'clock timer, but that's fine. We've got a while. It's a good chance, actually, to reload this minigun. This is some really awful deployment here. <laughs> it's hiding behind tables. At least I'm pretty sure there's nothing in the next room, at least. Pretty sure. That's a door. Yeah, we can go through there. Eddie first DMing session. How'd it go? I think Squid actually said about said about that. Good time. And still, the elders offer you 
mercy, and still you resist. You confuse petulance for righteousness. You do awesome. Yeah. So it's, I always, the first DMing session is always a bit stressful, so I'm, I'm glad it went well for you. My watch begins. Already there. Are you going to be doing an ongoing campaign, or is this just, or was it like just a one-off? And plan an end. That's well, look, that's the way it goes. <laughs> I never plan an end unless I, I know it's going to be a one-off. Um, so uh, yeah, that's the way to go. Okay, is this the chamber? No, it's not. There's another door. There's definitely a door there. So I don't know what that is. Oh, it's the edge of the map. Okay. That's got to be the way in, surely. Yeah, I mean, it, it's fun sometimes just to, like, like... The best way to do a campaign is to come up with a cool opener and then just, like, sort of see... See where the players, sort of where their actions take you, take them and stuff. You know, and then you can come up with, like, little episodes or sessions and things. Dice for not working in your player's favour. <laughs> That's the way it is sometimes. That's for them to deal with, not you. <laughs> So long as they didn't die on their first mission, generally that's that's probably a fun time for most people. Reloaded. Mission, yeah, first thing. <laughs> Let's move already. Go, go, go. Okay, she can get to the door. One crit failed us death roll. <laughs> Crippling fear of bunnies. Well, that's look, you know. That uh, also can be the way it will go sometimes. <laughs> what happened with the bunnies then? Why, um... Where, 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 what's this fear based on? Ooh. Okay, well this wasn't the set, the door. I, oh no, this is the ascension chamber. Fifty-six percent of purifier. She's not in a good place here, really, is she? Soul fire on that priest. Yeah, let's take him down. <laughs> Snapped a twig. A bunny jumped out of a bush at him, and he screamed. <laughs> I like it. anyone out other than that trooper in the first go. Yeah, let's, do, let's take the trooper out. Oh yeah, that's a teleporter to the Ascension Chamber. Okay, at least we... It's been so long since I've done one of these missions. It really is. Yeah, level two getting hit by a crit doesn't <laughs> it doesn't always uh, go very well. That's why I I never start campaigns at level one for that very reason because you could just roll pretty well and like immediately take out a like a level one character. <laughs> You know, which isn't any fun for anybody. Goblin took half his health. Yeah, like I say, at level two, it feels like a little bit more of a sort of, um, you know, fair game sort of thing of like, okay, you had a little bit of health. Oh, I was really hoping that wasn't going to be the case. How was she also? Oh, I was gonna say that. I'd already taken the uh, damage off. 
Ooh, this ain't gonna go well either. Purifier, I forgot about him. Same player later on, they managed to snipe a goblin who's escaping riding a wolf. Yeah, I mean, that's. Yeah, that's. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> but it's cool that they got to have, like, a moment that was, like, okay, oh, I'm in danger, but also, like, now, here's, here's my badass moment. <laughs> to be shooting through this door to be honest but Move into position. oh has he got a grenade on him I oh, she can set that off yeah <laughs> I love this move fuse glad I trained it actually it's super helpful let's psychically set off this dude's grenades We're in a pretty good position to be I can cover it. taking on this um, chosen now. I understand. Telekinetically pull the pin. Yeah, that's basically what happens. It's it's, it's super cool. Copy that. And like situations like that where they're in um, cover and stuff, and you just like, okay, I don't need to do a huge amount of damage, but I do need to kill them. Just be like, I'm gonna blow them up with their own explosives. <laughs> It's one of those things like, I need everybody on the platform before we press the button, otherwise it'll only take the people who were on it. I've made that mistake before. Make sure everybody's there before you do it. <laughs> or you'll get on the lift and leave everybody behind, and that's, uh, that's not great. Is it just him? Yeah, one more soldier to get to the platform. Doesn't sound helpful. Yeah, it's it, it makes sense though. You know, it's it's not helpful, but it's one of those things that units not on the platform will return to the Avenger. Yeah, it does. Yes, it does warn you. But if you're like me and you don't read pop-ups, then uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're in a good spot coming into this. One person has a little bit of damage on them and that's it. But these these fights are super can be super tough because you've not only got to fight a chosen. You have to kill the chosen. No wonder they keep coming back at us despite everything we throw at them. You gotta blow up the sarcophagus. Basically. Even now you push ahead, XCOM, undaunted in your task. A fitting epitaph for your race. May you be remembered. <sighs> I don't want everybody to bunch up. But we also need to be able to cover each other. I see like there's there's dudes in here. I've forgotten about that. That armor. Oof. Yeah, this is gonna be better for getting through armor. Let's 
do it. He's a long way off, 40% chance. There we go, shredded to armor, did 5 damage. That's why we bring him. But yeah, that shield bearer we do need to take out as soon as we can. We can give shields to other enemies and... There we go, right. Now the other guy's a priest, he can do psychic powers. Get to a, I do need to take this, you know, we need to we need to do as much damage as we can to these guys. Especially because uh, she's not in cover anymore. 28% chance, god, that's awful. Would have been better going on Overwatch. Um... I haven't tried this before. Let's do it. Ninety-five percent chance. Definitely does damage. We're not going to use it on the chosen, so I might as well try it here. Missed. Yeah, well, worth a go. Did some damage though. Don't do mind control back. That's going to make things hard. Come on, miss. Resisted. Excellent. Eight. Okay, not quite good enough, but we're getting there. Right. Uh, momentum, yeah, let's get back out of that. I started dropping frames again. What is going on? I do apologise. I don't know. What is going on with my internet connection today? My upload speed is all over the place. No problem, boss. Oh, he's gone into stasis. Not great. Time to redeploy at least. As usual, we want to keep everybody together. Everyone on Overwatch, then the second he stands up, we can shoot him. There we go. Go on, move, do something. Ah, oh, he's casting stasis. That's. Don't want that. No fun. Fifty-six percent chance to take him out. Go on, do it. There you go. What is going on with my upload speed? I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. Let's at least go over here and get this gear. Hopefully, you guys are actually seeing what's going on. I'm, I know, I'm losing frames here and there. I hope it's not just paused. I just carry on. Hope it gets better. Yep, what was that? Is the yup to yes you can see what's going on or what what's the up to? I was hoping that would reveal the It's not pause, just starts a little okay, well it could be worse, but uh yeah. It's not great. Like I said, I, I don't have the best upload speed at the best of times, but it's just been all over the place today. I think it's just a lot of people online. Let's deploy these battle scanners, give them a go. Oh. Waste of a turn. Oh, there it is. 
Don't do that. Crap. Beastmaster. Ah, uh, yeah. That's why these fights are tough. I'm just hiding over there. Right. I strike for my people. Okay, I didn't take it out. That would have been good if we could. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the assassin isn't actually... I can't do explosive damage to her. Right. I almost want to ignore... Like, the... Um, we've got to take out this... Um, what do we call it? can't remember the name. Because we do need to get some shots on this... Um, assassin. There we go, 76% chance to hit, and she's no cover. Oh, come on! <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Whew, at least she missed with returning fire. Let's do a void rift. Now we know where she is. See if that does anything. Four damage at ah, a start. <laughs> I'm going. I, yeah, I don't know if explosive damage is going to work. Try it. We know she's there. I know one of them is immune to explosives. I'm pretty sure it's her. Oh, three damage, better than nothing. Okay. Could have gone. At least good to know that we can do that. Oh, she's just getting out of the way. Okay, that's fine. At least she's not stabbing another person. vanished there, but that does that mean we can't see her for the whole turn? Oh no, there she is. Hey. How you doing? Nine damage. Yeah, you say that, but... Ooh. Oh, parry. Okay. What's parry do? Parry the next attack made against you during the enemy turn. Yeah, yeah just do parry and... There we go, that's why we brought a Reaper with us. Unfortunately, she's just beamed out to this very room, so I think she'll come back if we don't destroy that sarcophagus. Roger. The device appears to be some sort of psionic There you go. It's transferring tremendous amounts of psionic energy directly to the Chosen, restoring them. No wonder these things don't die. Six to eight damage. Uh, probably better for the rocket launcher, actually. Seven. That's not bad. Need a soon. Keep firing at the sarcophagus. <laughs> if we could take it out this one turn, I would be very happy. But I don't think I've got enough people left in the turn to uh, to do it in one. Third forty percent complete. Oh, okay, it's just another priest. That's a codex. Ugh. I'd be very happy if she can take this codex out in one. No, but nearly.
codexes don't do melee, so I move her around. Right. 99% chance to take out that codex. Yeah, let's do it. I really ought to be putting more fire on the... Um, I want everybody else to keep firing at the... Uh, How much damage does the rocket launcher do? Four to seven. How much damage does the gun do? Six to eight. Yeah, okay. Keep firing at the, uh, the sarcophagus. Let's take this down. If we take it down, then we can just mop up the remaining enemies. Like we've got enough health left and enough armor to at least take a shot or two. There we go. I'm hoping that's a good thing. Yes. Uh, assassin comes back. Has been interrupted. Readings on the capacitor indicate it has become highly unstable. Then let's talk don't do mind control, don't do mind control. Ah. Okay. <laughs> fail, come on, fail. Yeah. Psionic bomb, that's the last thing I wanted. <laughs> now everybody's going to have to reload their weapons, although that said, I think a few of them needed to do that anyway. Should have done parry. Ah, uh, well. Side is outside that. I am out of ammo. <sighs> to know, yeah, that's going to be it. Yeah, most needed the reload anyway, didn't they? Seems doable. Okay, the chosen popped in there. So I think I'm going to have everybody kind of come around to this area. Some of them may accident may get most need the reload. Yeah, it's yeah. That could have been much worse. This one, I think, she does need the reload, but she also it wouldn't hurt to heal herself. So I'm going to do that. And she Closing on target position can get now. there, and the reload would be helpful, but I can do soul fire and do damage. So we do need to, you know, we don't want to waste a whole turn. Who's he doing stasis on? It is the worst move. Okay, there's the chosen. Oof. She doesn't have a lot of health. Okay, so she's hiding in a pit. <laughs> Throw a grenade in there, do a little bit of damage. <laughs> down. Get him back up ASAP. This is why we brought two medics with us. <laughs> Just make the danger of the um, chosen completely pointless. Okay, that said, we need to take out... Ah, that dude is hidden. Okay, we go on Overwatch. Hmm. That 
It's a battle scanner doing its job. Right. I don't. Oh, actually, you know what? This is why we brought a rocket launcher with us. I think she just inside it there. If we fire it that way. Ah, no, but she now has no cover. Okay, well. Status ended. Status only lost a turn. Excellent. Ah, oh, mind control again. This guy just won't give it up. Save your mind tricks, alien. Oh, she doesn't. The. Har what does Harbor Wave do? Ooh. That's. That's a bad time. Go on. Screw her up. Yes. We killed the assassin, folks. But what happens now? The game's trying to decide what to do. <laughs> result. <laughs> Definitely taking a mission photo for this one. The wedge is a good one. I want to move over. You can't actually... There you go. The way the sort of position. There's no way of showing everybody. Okay, well. Uh, layout. Yeah, it's pretty badass, right? Only three wounded soldiers as well, and nobody was fully down. I mean, that could have gone so much worse. <laughs> Didn't lose anybody as well. This is why I wait till I've got all the, the decent armor and guns and stuff, you know. Because, well, it's just sound tactical sense. But yeah, that, uh, our psychic person is mission by mission proving themselves to be, like, super, you know, useful. I just got promoted as well, okay. Um. Oh, there's some really good ones here that I can choose from. I want to increase the focus level. He's also got 20 AP, so I'm going to buy Reflect as well. When they have two or more focus, there's a chance to reflect incoming shops back at the attacker. Seven. Yeah, you know, she's earned it. Okay. <laughs> totally worth it. Any unit seen by the Reaper remains permanently visible. That is a... What a... <laughs> 
What an ability that one is. Okay. We're also going to get that so we can actually set off that explosive that we sent last time. Alright. Um, okay, so I've been kind of doing heavy gunner a lot, but... Um, grenades do 2 plus da plus 2 damage. Or chain shot. Chain shot, take... Um, I think, oh, well, my face isn't covering that, but... Take shot with an aim penalty, and if you hit, you take another shot automatically. Uh, I'm going to take volatile mix, because I think that also includes the um, grenade launcher. Uh, she did really well as well. Covering fire. It's a great one. It just is a good mission. Don't want to tell you. Oh, we got her gun and her sword as well. <laughs> a chrysalid. That was, I was trying to remember what a chrysalid was. Assassin weapons. Okay, for some reason the audio is not playing. But just imagine Jonathan Frake saying, It was a task many thought impossible, Commander, but you and your forces have once again improved beyond resilient in defeating the Elders Chosen. Which is hard. Yeah, well, no, because Witch has, like, um, her blades are, like, psychic. It's basically like Psylocke in, um, from the X-Men. But, like, any of the Rangers have, like, swords on their back. So I'm hoping when you... I, I say I can't remember at all what you get for researching them. Um, yeah, it doesn't tell you what you get till you do it. Assassin weapons, so six days. Well, we got five days left till we finish beam cannon, which would have been great to have for this mission, but got a little bit impatient. I'm pleased with the research advances we've made so far, but there's still but yeah, that's, so much uh, more to that learn. Yeah, that went really well. Motivations. Okay, so while let's train our third psychic. Um, so I've got a few candidates here from all from the X-Men really, but I'm gonna put Cable in because Cable's psychic. Yeah, Cable's yeah, yeah, Cable. Yeah. Ooh, another cutscene. Cable is psychic, um, but he doesn't use his psychic powers that much because he's um, got a techno virus. Um, so most of his psychic power is used to keep the techno virus at bay, um, but mostly he just carries a big gun around. Um, <laughs> but there's no techno viruses in this, so I'm going to have him be psychic and carry a big gun around. Uh, alrighty, well, that went well. <laughs> so we've got an alien facility here, it was going to be our next mission, um, but I do think we're going to um, just collect ourselves for a second rather than jumping straight into a, another giant mission. Um, let's get these alien alloys. Finish and training, unlock beam cannon. Nathan Summers in the comics would basically do Yeah, I mean, Nathan Summers is cable. 
Um, there, in the 90s when it was Age of Apocalypse, they kind of split off another version of Cable. Um, which I think they just called Nate, Nate Gray. Um, I am a couple of years behind on X-Men actually, so I don't know what's going on at the moment, but... Haven Assault. Alright, I'm going to switch up the... Uh, oh, we're going to keep Scythe in, because actually I, I want her to get another um, promotion. But I do like that it, it's sort of automatically switched out to some of my other people. Um, I'm going to Mix it up a little bit though, because I do have a couple that I want to get promoted. I'm going to keep her in, because she's good. I'm going to keep Mox in, because he's also very good. Scratch hasn't been on a mission for some time. I'm going to keep her in. Uh, I'm going to put in... Um, we need another Ranger. I'm going to... Uh, that said, I, uh, yeah, let's take my robot with me. I want, I want my robots to be like promoted as well and you can't do it without missions which is kind of annoying very difficult yeah I don't want anybody lower than a sergeant on this mission let's do it I don't like that it gave this mission a very difficult rating, whereas it gave the Chosen Assault mission a difficult rating. <laughs> it doesn't bode well. We did lose a ro we lost God, we lost a robot in the last two streams. Robots are expensive. <laughs> I know I shouldn't go into it, but you know, they take time to build and stuff and we don't want to lose robot friends. on the resistance encampment in this area. Our people are doing what they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. There's a group of resistance... Oh good, at least it's one of the ones where, um... Move in and help fend off resistance are also fighting. So, okay. Yeah, let's join them up on the hill here. Unless there's some down here. Now let's join them up. It's telling me to go up there, so let's go up there. We can always turn around and shoot stuff behind us. I can get there. Fairly, so I need to activate any enemies that are nearby, so I know where they are. Run for it, robot friend. Yeah, this is a little different from the original style of um, assault missions because the assault missions used to just be like, you know, you all turn up and there's a bunch of civilians being attacked and you have to run around and just step into the circles to rescue them. Um, those missions are still in here, but occasionally you get ones like this where um, you got to like help these sort of small groups to fend off assaults and then you can move on to the next group. It's a lot cooler and there's some resistance fighters there that help you as well and it's just, I don't know, it's, it's a lot cooler. Oh, they are there. Oh, chrysalids. Right, okay. They are the worst. You cannot run. Well, they can go very far. And there's a codex there and a sectoid. Well, we've yeah, we've taken out those guys before. We just don't have a good turn here to um resistance activity. Yeah, see, this is where it helps because the resistance get involved, and oh, I wish they wouldn't fire at that codex though. They can't do enough damage to do take out the codex in one. And um Yeah. This is cool, there's a resistance base built into a crash UFO. Oh, well that's a surprisingly high amount of damage. 
That Kurdo's just going to clone itself now. Right. Blitz. Uh, yeah. Go for the sectoid? Yeah, go for the sectoid. That's why we bring you. Sectoids are vulnerable to melee. You can't handle me. A lyrium core, we can use that to build another robot. <laughs> okay, so shadow here. I need to start I need to be firing at those um Oof. God that's not a lot of damage, is it? And revealed, but uh, you know, I don't care about that. Right. Taking out these chrysalis because they're very dangerous if they get close to us. Take out that codex, finish it off. Throw the other half of it is down on the. Um, it's only 7% chance. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have her take out that chrysalid, at least the close one. Make things easier. I've then got, um, ooh, is that a free shot? Take a pistol shot of the codex. Job done. It's dead. It has to be dead. Right, then Mox as you can use the robot as cover um, and fire at the chrysalid. Taking it down, all right. Good job, everybody. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. So we've already saved four out of six. So even though things could go terribly, um, so long as we save two other civilians, we've not failed the mission. Right, let's do this. I don't want to run in there though, um, leaving most of my squad behind. Right. The aliens won't, I mean they will do stuff before I activate them, but I want to be in a position where I can have a decent turn like that last one, because that, that all went very smoothly. While I've got three of you in, in viewing at the moment, oh, welcome along, by the way. <laughs> um, can you let me know if the audio is okay? I've been tweaking some things, like levels-wise, since the last time we played, and then I made things too quiet, too loud. Let me know. Audio seems good. Awesome. Right, yeah, now I had a bit of a play around to see if I could... Um, I thought the game might have been a little low on the last couple of streams, game audio. So I, um, I've, I've tweaked that up slightly, and I have been having some microphone issues. So, um, yeah, cautious. Oh, all right. Are suffering out there. We'll need to give them some time to recover when we get back. I have been having some audio issues, and but it seems like my microphone is not going too badly today. So. Uh, Let's have the big guns run up and join in. Now, do I want to keep the sniper up here? I mean, if the aliens come from this direction, you're not going to have a good shot. I want to get the sniper up onto this roof, actually. That's Shoot from a higher position. Even if she can't get into cover right now. And have Mox run down there. Okay, well, we've not got the best deployment here, but... Um... We can easily get everybody into position. 
I had a feeling they'd come from there. Oh, not bad for a resistance guy. Oh, okay. Well, that's not great. That's a berserker. As another berserker. Although, you know, resistance guys are doing their damage. I'm probably happy to let the resistance take him out, but it does cost my guys uh, experience points, I guess. <laughs> Weird that I uh, got that without actually seeing the, the enemy there, but... <laughs> Alright, yeah, sure, take out a mute on. Guys didn't need me here at all. <laughs> Doing great defending their own people. To there, can we see him from there? Nah, that's true, I guess. Yeah. Still. You know. I do enjoy getting experience points for actually doing stuff instead of just turning up and watching the resistance defend themselves. Okay, there they are. Nice, not quite enough, but nice. Nine points of damage to him. He's only got three health left. We can take care of that. Alright, go there, robot. Now. I know for a fact there's another one up this way, so we're going to put him, her, uh, sorry, there, on Overwatch, and scratch in place there. As you can see him, but yeah, pistol Overwatch. Right, I've got a choice here, because I know there's another Berserker there, but there is a Muton there. Uh, choices. Okay, let's put marks there. Put them on Overwatch because there's every possibility that that Berserk is going to run in. And a Codex. Wow, okay. Unexpected. Two Codexes. Well, that's not ideal. I knew we put her there for a reason. Six damage, I'll take it. Could have done with more, but it's not the plasma version, is it? So. Extra five damage just from the pistol shot. Excellent. Ah, oh, if it had been six. Okay, these codexes are going to be an issue now. That one muton. Is he punching a dude through a wall? Yeah. Well, we lost someone. Resistance person. This is why I don't like the civilians firing at the, um... Oh wow, okay, <laughs> no wonder this mission was set up very difficult, there's a lot of really chunky enemies here. More than I was expecting. Oh, and these resistance guys, they were helpful to begin with, but... Go on, take that guy out, that would make things much easier. There we go, alright, one less to worry about. We still have another berserker up the other end to deal with, though. See, when they hit these co codexes, they clone them, and... Um, it's a problem. Well, I do. Like I say I do appreciate that extra damage. Right. Eighty-eight percent chance of hitting. I'll take that. Even though that's a shotgun. Nine damage. So berserkers are uh, tough ones here. Right. Uh. 61% oh there's a codex there, okay yeah 
Send a robot this way. Well, I won't take two shots. I'm going to go into overdrive here. Eighty percent chance of hitting that codex. Excellent. Oh, it's down. Oh, it's out of ammo. Okay. Well, I don't want to use the rocket launcher. There's too many people about. Well, at least it's them reloaded in the same turn. Sixty-three percent. That's not enough damage to that codex. Seven damage. I'll take it. But cloned itself. Right. So we've got a couple of choices here. All of them codexes. <laughs> Give her the least likely to kill. Oh, one for miss. That's gonna clone itself again. Okay, I just made things difficult for myself. That was that was rather stupid. This mox knows what he's doing. And there's a faceless there. Great. <laughs> you say this hasn't been bad for our guys, but like it's just getting harder and harder to defend these resistance people. <laughs> Psionic bomb as well. Oh, it's been effect. Oh, if that kills a bunch of resistance people, that's going to be a real problem. So we've got three codexes over this way. We've got that muton still hanging about. And I think we've got the one codex up on the... Um wow, it didn't kill him. No surprise about that. And I've got the one codex there, okay. An undamaged codex. We can't shoot for shit. <laughs> That was gonna happen. Armor took the worst of it. Just gonna hit, take another one off of this one. I should have brought Witch with us. Wow. Okay. Yeah, she's definitely really hurt. Okay. If the resistance can take down this. Um, Faceless, that'd be real helpful. Oh, that's pretty helpful as well, actually. Come on, go for the muton. No, or the faceless. Right, that does make things easier. That psionic bomb is about to go off, though. Right, earn your. Did I even bring? I don't know if I even brought a medic with me. It was kind of dumb of me, really, wasn't it? I don't think I know. I didn't bring a medic. Forty percent on that codex. We can move him. Take out the muton. Go on. Forty-nine percent chance of hitting. Well, it has no cover now. Okay. A waste of a grenade here, really, but we don't use them often enough. Let's do this. Oh, she's in the psionic bomb area, isn't she? I don't want to get her out of cover. Okay, we're gonna need to move him. Where is that codex, the one he was firing at? It's kind of just hanging out there, isn't it? Hmm. 
Hmm. I want him to still be able to fire. Go there. Well, I thought he was in cover there, but I guess not. Ah, oh, I didn't get her out of the blast radius. <sighs> Here's the lesson, always bring a medic. Because you get stuff like this happening. At least they're kind of ignoring our guys to take out the civilians, but I don't want to lose any civilians, really. Okay. <laughs> I was really hoping they were going to take that mutant out then. Okay, six damage on the codex, so they know it's going to clone itself again. This is why this mission is so hard. <laughs> right. For God's sake. Finally. Get back into cover. 33% chance of hitting. Take that. Excellent. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh... Just those two codexes there, and the one this... Was there one this way? I think there was. Did it teleport? Oh, there it is. Yeah. going very grenade happy this one but <laughs> guaranteed damage okay we know we're clear on this way now even if we've blown up half the forest if you say so she's been very good with a pistol shot so ah. spoke too soon <laughs> Can I get anywhere with mocks that I can actually hit them? Or even see them? Yes, so there's no cover on that side. Alright, um. The civilians won't move. Just jump outside there and, um. 71% chance, that's pretty good. Great. I think this is the last one. Ah, oh, psionic bomb. Just need one of you to shoot it. You're reloading. Oof. I'm pretty sure this is the last enemy on the map. I don't think we're going to take a mission photo for this one. It didn't go well. <laughs> well, it went really well, but like... We didn't bring a medic with us. That was just a big mistake. <laughs> Lesson learned. Oh, it's auto done one. Well, we're going to delete that one. That was just awful. Look at that. That went pretty bad. That went pretty. I, I could have gone better. Could have gone worse though. Look, gravely wounded. It's 
we didn't have a medic with us. Um, okay, so the choice I've got here, deep cover, which I haven't been doing scout at, at all with her ability tree. Deep cover, if you did not at attack this turn, hunker down automatically. That is pretty good. Untouchable though, if you score a kill during your turn, the next attack against you during the enemy turn will miss. I mean, that's definitely we're going with that. Hey, thanks for following uh, Dragonware. Ooh, a lot of AP again with this one. Um, so I don't care too much about the stealth thing. More taken with the marksman thing. Shots taken in shadow have plus two armor piercing. Yeah, 15 points there. Hollow targeting, dead eye. I don't really like the like the stealth things on this, like because it always goes down. It always lose, you know. Silent killer kills do not increase the chance to break out of shadow, but the chance to reveal still occurs. That's not bad. Like, yeah, let's take that. We got the points to do it. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you followed. Now, welcome along. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, where are we at then? So that could have gone much better. But first things first, we're going to get rid of that. Well, I'd, it's not a bad poster, but I never keep those promoted ones. But look at this, this is awful. <laughs> amateur work. Compare that to some of our previous posters. Good to leave it anyway. Yeah, see, these auto generated ones aren't great. But, like, yeah, that's a poster. That's a poster. That's, you know. R.I.P. Johnny Five. That's a poster. Again, don't need that. Look, these auto-generated ones are just awful. No sense of graphic design. Yeah, I did do that that one, but then we also made the Johnny Five not alive one, so we're going to delete that one. I think I'm just going through. This is this is the game. It's a poster maker <laughs> wrapped up in a um. <laughs> See, proper posters. Yeah, I guess we... Oh, that was from the last advent. We really screwed the pooch this time, folks. Okay. <laughs> um, did we look at the memorial while we're here? Fallen soldiers. It's pretty good that half of the people that we've lost are robots. Um, it's not good, but, you know, we haven't lost that many people at all. Two days on BB Cannon. Okay. What time is it? It is 20 to 5. Okay. I'm going to play for another 20 minutes or so, I think. Oh, hey. I got an achievement. Fully operational. Fully operational resistance. Um, what does that achievement mean? Raise XCOMs influence all three factions to high in a single game. Okay. Oh, because we found the stronghold for the um, the sniper. Thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging out, Dan. Um, yeah, I'm not again. Probably going to be next weekend again. Uh, I play this, but yeah. Cheers, cheers for hanging out. I'll speak to you soon. Promotions. Okay, right. I don't want to do this hunt ones just yet because there's some other stuff we can do um Our influence with the resistance factions has motivated them to share can recruit another scientist and recruit another engineer I'm not fussed about the engineers right now because we have got quite a few um in the long run taking another scientist is going to be helpful because we can um, that'll speed up our research so we will send god all of our high ranking people are either wounded or tired yeah been a, it's been a busy week. Uh, let's send him and another low level one because we want them to can get promoted. We're going to send. <laughs> I always forget we made some weird people in this. Um, let's send. Let's send Ripley and we'll put some. That. Okay, and that will that will reward us with a scientist in eight days.
looking at buildings here. We've got an empty one there, but I'm holding that back for when we finish some research. Uh, 23 days still for that power coil. Can we upgrade the lab or can we not afford to? Yeah, we need more power. When we get that power coil, I'm going to put an Illyrium reactor in. And, uh, yeah. What else is going on in Armory? Oh yeah, Beast got promoted. Death from above, or quick draw. Death from above. It's a pretty cool armor look, I do like that. Okay, the only upgrade we've got is a laser sight, that's not very great. Okay, well, um... I don't think we've really got time to get into another proper mission this t this stream, because as I say, I'm going to finish about 5 o'clock. Uh, we're going to go to the black market, I think, let's have a look. Uh, nothing there. What they've got, I've got plenty of. Um, You know what we're going to do? We're going to make contact with the Eastern US. That is going to be our last. We've now at capacity for resistance contacts. But there's ways to increase that. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Attempting to establish local regional contact. Soul fire is incredibly helpful, so we'll give her that. Beam cannon, excellent. Right, now we're getting there. Illyrium phase cannon for the robots, beam cannon for the humans. Hmm. But yeah, we want to have that breakthrough. Ah, uh, for reduced cost, I'm not fussed about that. Let's do the instant on the berserker autopsy. Long referred to as a berserker is clearly a genetic relation to the other mutant species we have encountered in the field. For reasons yet unknown, this particular variant is unique in that it is altogether consumed by what can only be described as blind rage, a thirst for combat, unlike any other creature we've encountered. What a goo on the screen again. <laughs> Overdrive serum. Well, I don't really want to use that. But best to do all of the things. Oh, the breakthrough is still hanging about. Um, let's allow us to build the digital network upgrade in the resistance ring for reduced cost by 50%. Ah, no, I'm not fussed. Let's the get these uh, see employed by Advent get these autopsies done. Facilities and security checkpoints are automated, much in the same way the alien mechanized units are. A significant amount of time was likely spent developing the optical sensors and targeting system, which I expect Shin will want to thoroughly examine following the disassembly process. I can't remember what this gives you as an upgrade, to be honest. Um, I was going to say one day, that is pretty quick. Not going to admit it to Shin. Okay, he gets. He started off with that. Uh, let's give him Fortress to begin with. We want Cable to be like a walking tank, but like a walking psychic tank. Turn it right down, okay. Can only further our advances. So, a defense matrix. What does a defense matrix do? Oh, it's a building. Okay. Uh, well, we definitely. If we've got the space, need to do that. I am going to do the alien encryption one, which is a sort of story mission one, really. But we need to, we need to do it eventually. Ah, oh, awesome. Okay, we have our next robot, and oh, we're building a third one. All right. I knew we built Huey last time. Did we? This is going to be Huey, Dewey, and Louie, right? So yes, Huey. This is our new robot friend, Dewey. Uh, 
And that's a perfect look for him. Although I don't know. Let's change the head up. Yeah. So Dewey is blue. That's a cool look. <laughs> so Huey is blue. No, Dewey is red. No, Huey's red, Dewey's blue, and then Louie is going to be green when we build him. I say building, we to do our upgrades. Ooh, that's really eating into our supplies there. Worth it though. Tell me something, Doctor. Must have like most people, I wanted to believe that the aliens were legitimately interested in peace. Okay, All supply drop. Really Three hundred and thirty is not a lot, really, is it? I admit, I was drawn to the sense of normalcy they offered. It was a mistake. You should have known better. The aliens would never have come here if they wanted peace. As I said, it was a mistake. One I hope to atone for through my efforts with x -Con. Then I'd say you've got your work cut out for you. Okay, these minor breakthroughs aren't so bad because we've got plenty of room. I do want to stop the hunt at XCOM because the UFO... And you have outdone yourself. Yeah, uh, the Advent Soldier is completely immune to environmental things. That's tougher in the long run. I don't want to get hunted by a UFO though because then we had to do a... Defense mission. You got something new for us, Commander. My Reapers are up for taking on some additional orders. <sighs> hmm. That's a good one. All oh, mission timers are increased by two turns, is another good one. For ten. We will get to that. Um. Yeah, no, that's good. We'll need to completely scan this region before we can establish contact with the local resistance. I'd advise we stick around and finish the job, but the choice is yours. All right, that's our making contact with the Eastern US. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've seen this exact video before. There's like three or four. Pre it's a pre-rendered thing. <laughs> Chosen warlock is hard at work for his masters in this area. I was born of the elders' own power of their fairies. One day left on the alien encryption. I think. I say I'm kind of winding the clock down because I know I have to go at five, and it's nine minutes to five right now. I don't want to get into another mission, so. If another mission pops up very quickly, we will save and call it a day, but I think... Oh, that's our new scientist. Okay, yeah, we do this one. Game resistance contact. I'm going to send... Who are we going to send on this? Send the queen on it. <laughs> yeah, we made the queen. It's so dumb. Uh, the Queen and Iceman from the X-Men can go on this mission. <laughs> I love this playthrough. It's great. <laughs> that, I said that yesterday, didn't I? We were going to do some more um, crazy characters. Maybe we'll do the, that's the first thing we're going to do in the next one, I think, is make some, make some odd, more, extra custom characters. Okay. Now we can build the shadow chamber. Uh oh, you know what? That's That's not a bad breakthrough. The Templar's auto pistol does plus one damage. We'll do that one. Let's set them to building. Now that I can build the shadow chamber. Oh, I don't have the power. Right, well, that's <laughs> fair enough. Um Who got promoted there? Someone did. Ripley. Ripley's now a grenadier. Oh, kind of makes sense. Sort of. 
Oh, that's the first of those new beam cannons, that's excellent. Yeah, I'm going to give her the superior laser sight on that. You know what I haven't been doing? I haven't been putting people in the guerrilla tactics school. Because we've got a lot of recruits here that we could... Yeah. Uh, Rangers. We, we don't really have enough medics. Buying that, definitely buying that. We've only got two more extra tactics to it. We get a sharpshooter captain, and we get a reaper captain. Then we'll be golden. How are we looking? 54. Okay. Um, so right now, the shadow chamber is going in there, but we do need to build our upgraded. Uh, yeah, we can't upgrade this power supply anymore. Um, we need to build. Uh, oh, okay, upgrade for there. No, we need three power. Yeah, it's we're kind of a little bit bottlenecked here into waiting for that power coil and that one. When once we've got it, actually, if we've got any spare engineers. No, we don't. Um, to uh, yeah. Additional workbench. Yeah, I don't need to do that right now. Um, yeah, those two beams there are both going to have power units in. Um, I think I'm going to see how much power I get from them before I decide whether I take this relay out because that you know we've got a limited number of spaces here. But it's going to take some time anyway. So, <laughs> what can you do? Yeah. Well, that said, it might pay us actually to upgrade this with the additional workbench. Then, once we get an extra engineer, we can put a um, extra staffing gremlins in there. Is in the proving ground. Are we doing anything with the proving ground? Oh, we're building a robot. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, it doesn't need to be there. We'll just slow it down. Yeah, okay. Yeah, go in there. Staffing gremlins. So the gremlins go left and right. Probably shouldn't have built the lab there. That was a waste of time. But we can put two gremlins on this to help with the building. That's down to six days. Okay. Um, but where we're at, at the moment, I think there's nothing we can do really that's not going to possibly... I think we're, we're very close to like a random mission pop-up, so I think we're going to call that a day. Um, yeah, coming up to five o'clock now. Um, so, once again, thanks a lot for watching. Um, thanks for new follows. Uh, if, uh, if you want um, notifications whenever I go live, uh, click the button there. See, I'm now remembering where it is on the screen. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, thanks so much for watching. We're definitely going to be continuing this next Saturday. Seems that XCOM is a... Well, every weekend we've, we've been playing XCOM. Hopefully with less tech problems next Saturday. Um, but those seem to have been fixed by now. Um, so, yeah, thanks a lot. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good day.